Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I am back with another easy quilt block. I think we are going to like this one. I have high hopes. I just made it up about 20 minutes ago. I sat down, put my thinking cap on, and I thought, I want to do something very easy, but I want to involve two different kinds of blocks. So here's what we're going to be doing. We are going to be making our two half square triangles. We're going to alter them in a different way. Then we will use those to create blocks. It'll make more sense as we go. You want two squares. I ended up going with a black, white, and red print and some solid red. I think that might be super cool, but you can do whatever you want. You can cut whatever size. I started with 8 inch squares, but this might be a good project for those of you who like to use layer cakes. You could use one layer cake set that is plain, and then you could have a mixed one and just do like a scrappy type quilt. So let's just uh, get started, and we're going to put the two blocks together, right sides facing. We're going to draw a diagonal line. I am going to go sew down each side of the line, about a quarter of an inch away from the line. I just use my foot as my guide. I'll show you as soon as I'm done. And I don't know if you can see, I know you can see the line, but then I just stitched on both sides of that line all the way up and down. Now we're going to cut on the line, and I'm just going to use my scissors. I'm going to go, oh, I was going to say paint these. No, not painting. I'm going to go press these. I'll be right back. And here is what we have. We have two half square triangle blocks that are identical. And we're going to funk them up. Let's put one aside. I'm going to take one and I am going to make it a hidden half square triangle. I've done this before, but I'm going to do it a different way for this one. I'm going to just, let's say, I'm going to come in two inches and I'm going to cut a two inch strip. Let's do that. So my print side is at the top, my solid is at the bottom. And I'm going to come in two inches and make a cut. And then I'm going to do another two inches. So here's my original block and I just cut two inch strip, two inch strip, and then this is going to be like four and a half. Did I say I started with an eight inch block? I am sorry. I started with nine inch blocks. I was going to do eight, but then I changed my mind. So I started with nine inch blocks. I'm going to turn this like this. Huh? Huh? I don't know. That's not going to do as much as I thought. There go my high hopes. But we're committed now. I am going to sew this back together. So I'm going to sew this here. And I'm going to sew this here. And then I shall be back. So this is what I have. And I think there's some hope for this because even though there's like just a little red piece here in the corner, when you put another block like that next to it, then that starts to pop. So this is one of the blocks. But now this, because of the seam allowances, is more narrow than it is tall. So either something has to be trimmed or I'm thinking this will have to be trimmed now because we want to use the two blocks together. I want to use the both blocks in the design. I wasn't going to change this one, but it will have to be trimmed to be a square. They both have to end up being squares. So I'm wondering if I trim a piece off this and I add it to this, if we can make this a square again. Hang on, I have to do some math. Nope, I'm not going to do anything more complicated. I am just going to square this up. This block is measuring about seven and three quarters inches across. So I'm going to cut it seven and three quarters of an inch this way. But I don't want to cut on this side because I don't want to lose my little tiny piece of red there. So I'm going to cut this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and three quarters. And this is going to be awesome in my crumb box. You'll have to just figure out how big your block comes and then you just square it up the way you need to. And now I have to do seven and three quarters in both directions on this one. 
Now I have a choice. I can leave a point on one end or I can trim on both ends. I think I'm going to do the trimming on just one side on each way. Oh my God, I'm making this so complicated. Just trim it. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, three quarters. So that's right here. In other words, I'm just taking it off all on one side. And I'm going to do it on this end now. And more scrappies for me. So not very much scraps. I like that. And we know we put them to good use. So now I have two blocks. And if you were making an actual quilt, you would do this repeatedly. And then you would have a bunch that look like this and a bunch that look like this. You can take four of these and put them together to make some funky patterns. You can take four of these. You can use two of these and two of these. You can just mix them up like I am going to do on the digital quilt board, which is not quilting software. I get asked repeatedly. You need to go and find some quilting software. I'm using a very ancient version of Printmaster, which is not for quilting. And you can't even get it anymore. That's how old it is. So I have no clue what I can recommend. I will look into it. I will try to find some quilting software for you guys, but I don't have it. And what I do takes a long time, but I'm going to do many combinations, some with just this, some with just this, some mixed, and it's going to be pretty cool. So I started out with nine inch squares and I ended up with seven and three quarters. You could certainly start out with 10 inch squares from a layer cake you probably will get down to like an eight and a half inch block after all is said and done. And then do remember though that four of these things sewn together is going to make a really big block. You're looking at probably a 15 inch block when you put four of these babies together. So that makes a quilt top very quick because you're making nice big blocks. Let me just get started. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe so you don't miss any future quilt blocks and I will be back with more soon. Bye!